Hello, dear friends. Welcome back. We're gonna hop back on up on Cube Realm, where I seem to be alone today. Usually, it's an evening sort of crowd. Night time, but I can sleep. So, for those of you who've been watching, all two of you, I will get back to the 1.8 survival series. Promise. I will actually complete the cottage that I've been talking about for the first two episodes. Promise. However, it should be noted that I do have ADHD. Diagnosed, medicated, but it is reflected in the way I play the game. I'm not just sort of using the term lightly. I should drop a lot of that stuff off in the... Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, hop over to one of the other towns on the server to A, demonstrate how that works, and B, pick up my, um, what do you call it, um, now there's a weekly uh, stipend that you get just by being on the server. So I guess that's enough room. So we're gonna do a little traveling. So this is Storyland. We'll take the Wayhouse. Storyland is where we've spent most of our time, except for the carnival. We're now gonna go to Curiosity. You may note I I like to use the um, pressure plates. Um, that way, if I'm coming in at a dead run, I don't have to turn around and shut the door. Fireplace there. Here's Spider. Hello, chickens. A renewable food source. There's a bed here. Um, in a pinch, the Wayhouse is supposed to be a safe place. Uh, fireplace is a furnace. Uh, because uh, the server has a fire tick set off, so fires neither spread nor burn nor go out on their own. Uh, this is a set of row houses. This is what uh, Count Sporkula, the mayor of this town, um, installed to make use of a chunk error that was right there. Big flat space. A very deep ocean underneath. So, right now the pier doesn't connect in a convenient place, so I plop that uh, ladder in. Last time I updated my map, some things changed here. This used to connect to the shore. Some of that got cleared out. Oh, hey. I know what happened. This dirt up here used to say naughty words. Someone came in very quietly. And it was difficult to notice unless you're flying around. Like the creative mode folks. Um, so let's hop over here and look at the shops. Um, so Count Sporkula has Claymore, who sells clay, and Halfred, who sells airship tickets. I'm gonna need some of them. That's actually the best deal, because uh, usually it's 1M for 2. Uh, and because the city of Curiosity is still being built, and or because Count Sparkula's a nice mayor, uh, this one's a free port. You don't have to pay to get into the port. The ship has a button. Travel to the Port of Fringe. Bam. We are on the Port of Fringe. Same boat. And that's essentially how fast travel works. Uh, we're going to take an airship before we're done as well. Fringe is the city at the bottom of the big tree that you start out in. There's the tree kind of struggling to render. If, uh, if your computer or connection are slow, you may want to get away from the tree pretty quickly, because all those leaves, uh, at the very least, uh, turn off smooth lighting. Go to fast. Alright, um, so this city has mob protection. That's why these dark patches don't produce monsters. I've spent a lot of my time here being lost, circling the tree, trying to find the city. 
So that's the port of Fringe. The city at the base is Fringe. Uh, the tree itself is Haven. These are little apartments, the acorns. Um, but Fringe proper isn't under the shade of the tree. And we're going to go to Fringe proper. I get lost so easily in Minecraft and elsewhere. So that's the wall to the city of Fringe. There is a gap somewhere around here in the mob protection. Because occasionally I find things right here. The Fringe itself is protected as well. There's the airport. The Skyport, I think they call it. Uh, this city is full of services where you can buy and sell uh, quests where you can gain treasure by defeating monsters, their fetch quests, and all sorts of things. There's the skyport. We're going to put in our ticket. Gate opens, and up we go. So we're going to the town of Aurum, uh, which I assume is named at least in part uh, for the Latin word for gold, because it is a town of banking and gambling, and also where there's a weekly pension for the regular players. Irregular players as well, it's it's automated. So, let's see, Terminus Aurum. Uh, okay, Aurum it is. Now, Aurum actually has a pilot on their airship. Ship's captain. Bam. In, uh, in my village, I'm going to make a river boat, because it's on a river. Um, which means I should probably connect to a place that has a river, possibly Aurum. Um, I think there's a river in Fringe. And out we go. So the, uh, the sun symbol is uh, over the casino. This is the bank here. Uh, that balloon goes to a, a mushroom island that's going to be uh, a home for very dangerous quests. Let's see what this week's pension is. Let's hope they reset it today. Dang, they did not reset it. It's Friday, and they did not reset it. It has to be done manually, so someone decides what the week's pension is. Different stuff sometimes. Well, okay. This is an opportunity to sort of show off what's going around. Um, let's go into the... Casino. Okay, a nice sort of semi-Greek key design. Uh, first time you log in, there's pr promotional casino coins. That's a one-time only treasure chest. Some of them reset. There's the casino. Uh, I have a certain amount of money. Let's uh, show you how the gambling works. I'll buy some tokens. Too expensive. I'm very stingy with my money. <laughs> All right, pop that back in. Oh, but there's slot machines and other kinds. Um, the pension usually has a few tokens in, and I spend them on the slot machines. They, oh, look at how many. That's a map with many, many things, many. Uh, many frames. I still have a blank spot on mine because I got lost last time I tried to uh, 
last time I tried to uh, map out that section. Well, it was a showing off trip rather than a getting money trip, but life goes on. That building's new, I think. We buy gunpowder. Hell's Saloon. Okay, you have my interest, sir. What you got? We've got... Dirty Logger, which has got slowness. Uh, they have other effects than it shows. Hell's Pyre Fire. Blue's Homemade Lanolin? Do they know that Lanolin is the oil you get from sheep's wool? <laughs> okay. Generally, I only buy uh, PK's. Uh, he makes the best liquor. Uh, if you ever see a chest that's on a gold block, that's a treasure chest. That's for looting. And except for the ones that reset, it'll only allow you to access it once in all of time. Sunset. Feels like days are shorter when I'm recording. I mean, I, I know that's not so. But I think... Uh, maybe because I'm talking and doing so much. The time passes. Alright, back to Fringe. There's some really nice views on this server. Nicer still if I had more uh, chunks loaded, I'm sure. And then from the airport down... There's actually a jump puddle um, just off one of the bridges there, but... I keep missing it, and I don't like to die, particularly this far from home. Well, that is one of the reasons I keep my money in the ender chest. Exit. Right, so... There's the local bank. It's a temple. I'm gonna try to find... Pawn shop. I'm not going to explore. I, I tend to waste a lot of time if I actually go exploring in Fringe, because there's so much here, and the, the layout's a little bit spotty, so without a map, it's a little hard to find my way around. And as you know, Minecraft maps do not really have a you are here, except when you're making your own for the first time. You can buy maps, they sell them. zoomed out a bit too far, too, to see um, easily the roads and stuff. I'm not sure if there's a good answer to that. I know uh, people have uh, made maps, like take a, an uninhabited area and then uh, draw out what you want on the map in blocks, and then when you map that area it'll have your words, your phrases, your diagrams. And set it to whatever scale you want. This server could manage something like that, but then someone would want to build a house on it. Alright. One more ticket. Oh, jeez. Go away. <laughs> There's a skeleton up there. Obviously, the port is not... Protected. There we go. Back in curiosity. I've often wanted to get the um, the achievement where you shoot and kill a skeleton from 50 meters. I think I'd actually need a better monitor, because I can't see a skeleton at 50 meters. It's like two pixels high. Hi, buddy. There's someone walking. Nope. I thought that was your walking noise. Is that just the sound you make because you're slurpy? Whoa. 
Well, tough knuckles, buddy. I think I'll take a nap. This is close enough to my house, I don't mind this being my spawn point. So the um, the name of the series is um, a new start. Um, that not only is the uh, because of the survival series where I uh, started a 1.8 world fresh. Whoop is the king. Without further delay, go away. Without further delay, into the cottaging area. <laughs> cottaging means something else. If you're not British, you'll have to look it up. Um, don't go to an image search, though. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so this is what we have so far. Not a lot. Uh, this will be the front porch. What kind of wood do I have? Birch? Do I want birch to be the front porch? I think I want oak. I don't have any oak. There's an oak tree right there. Let's lay some oak planks in for the porch. I know it's like the oldest wood, but sometimes it's what I want. That's spruce. Alright. That'll give us a start. Uh, the cobble may or may not stay as a sort of a foundation. But I'm putting the oak in to sort of give an idea. So the doorway is going to be here. starting to show up. It is 1.08 p.m. in my time zone, which is uh, U.S. time zone mountain time. Right. Uh, did I make a work chest? I did. With nothing in it. Right. Okay, so the main house is going to be square-ish, as houses often are. But it'll have ugh, wings and things as well. Come on, drop some saplings. to get tree drops in here because the trees are so close to each other. There's another oak. We'll cut that down too. I often wind up doing a little tree farming. So a Victorian house generally has um, lots of parts. Wings and towers and cupolas and widow's walks. Ooh, I should do a widow's walk. It's a little walkway around the roof. Uh, conceptually, where uh, sea widows, that is, the wives of sailors that are like widows, because the sailors are gone most of the time, can stand and watch out to sea and look for their man. Make a little row of oaks here. And 
I know we're gonna have to break you. I think that tree's probably gonna have to go. Oh, that's oak. Chop you down. I think we're gonna lose the red mushrooms. When that uh, goes. Alright, so. So, so. So once inside, uh, there's the porch is going to go one, two, dirt scaffolding, three, four, and then the second floor. Uh, the other thing about Victorian houses is they're often very colorful, um, and I'm not going to be able to do it a lot of justice because they have lots of detail and moldings and there's only so much detail you can do when your smallest increment is uh, a meter square cube. So, a new start. is a new start for the channel. I've dabbled a lot. See, I came back to it eventually. Um, a lot of different things. I mean, mostly Minecraft. I've been playing Minecraft for a while. Um, I've always wanted to do uh, some of these video... Um, Let's Play videos. Uh, and the, the one thing I've noted about uh, video channels that have some degree of success is that they have consistency. They keep doing their thing. If I if I do six episodes and then go away for two years, you'll be able to see an example of that. That doesn't work so well. Is that all the cobblestone I got? Keep hearing things coming to me. Um it's not going to get much of a following. And, you know, following's not required. So it's not a very big house at the moment. Uh, it's going to be taller. Uh, it needs a tower, or tower-like structure. We're going to do it on this side. Let's see. Make a square one, though. One, two, three, four... The interior dimension may may or may not actually be walled like that. Ow. Two, three, four. Oh, I don't think I'm doing this right. So a new start is for the server, I mean for the channel as well. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. If I want it to wrap around the corner, I need to go further. So well, let's do here instead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stop that. Okay, so that's seven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There. Is that square? Yeah. This is going to be a tower. It will have uh, similar floors. Alright, we 
gonna beginning to see the shape of the building. And I think the third floor is gonna actually be shaped differently. So let me think. So the, the third floor so the first floor is this size and a porch. The second floor is this size, which is bigger. Um, the third floor if yes, we'll leave a bit off the back so there'll be sort of a, a um, what do you call it? A couple of? No. That's not the word at all. So let's go um, I think from there. No. Let's go Oh yeah, let's go from there. Just lay in the frame. This is episode six. With any luck, we'll get uh, at least as many episodes in. Okay, that's a bit contrary to what I said before. I was going to make it shorter. I made it longer if I do that. So, we won't do that, actually. going to have sort of a walkway up here, but I will do it by retreating from the edge, not advancing the edge. Right, so, um, we're going to actually make the wall. scaffolding when I do any building. Time is at 117. A new start all over. Right? Does that make sense? That's why, I mean, the channel can be as um, all over the place as it is and still uh, be represented by that name. I should like to have some greenery on top of that post. I have none in my current inventory. Uh, so, as I say, there's a limit to how much color detail we can add, but we're going to have some. Uh, more than that, I'm going to pick uh, two or three colors that go together and one wood. Uh, the tower We'll continue up past whatever level the roof goes. We're going to have at least one more full floor. Um, and... Oh, what have I done? That's the first floor. This is the second floor. Oh. I've been laying out the third floor. So one, two, three, four... I like to have high ceilings. So the second floor is full size. The third floor is the one that retreats from the edge. And I need way more cobble for my cobble scaffolding. So what we're going to do here is take a bit of a recording break. And I'll come back when more of the framework is done. Okay, friends, we've got some framing going. Let's see if I can talk you through it here. The tree is in the house. Alright, so the entrance is down there. We've got... Here, let me get down to floor ground level and work my way up. All right, so you enter. This is a porch. Wraps around the house. Go into the house. We've got this relatively rectangular space. All right. Um, 
which expands into the tower square. Right. Upstairs from there, you've got a rectangular space, which hooks into the tower square, but doesn't actually move into it. And we've got a, a broad porch right here. Upstairs from there, again hooking into the tower space, you've got uh, this rectangular area, and that's the ceiling of it. Right? That's where the roof of this section goes. And on this section, it goes up another floor, and its ceiling is here. Uh, but, because it's such a peaked roof, um, there's an attic that's going to be up here. With dormers and such. Um, pretty sure that's the way that roof's going to go. And this roof, I think, is going to do this. So it's going to kind of butt up against here. Um, and I don't know if that will be an extension of this space. There will be a disconnected attic from here. Uh, I might raise it, make it more peaky, so it does kind of an inverted V. And however high the house is, the tower will go at least one higher, um, with probably a widow's walk on top, but possibly a widow's walk on top of this. Um, Beyond all that, I really, 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 really want to add a wing, just a ground floor wing. But because of the porch, I really shouldn't use any of those two walls. And the tower kind of impedes this wall uh, and this wall. It, it, you know, it makes the, the wall shorter. So I think... I could cut the porch short on one end or the other. So let's say we do it this way. Let's cut the cut the porch short, um, and then that can have another interesting roof of its own. Yeah, so we've got to work on that. And then from this angle, we can see that that um, branch is still pretty needful. So this is the the fork up the middle. And the two ends of the fork are, are still needing a lot of uh, development. Uh, so, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Not entirely sure what kind of... I do still want to add a wing. do still want to add a wing. I think it'll either go this way. Or this way. I don't want to get too close to Curiosity. I want to spread more towards the river and across it. So, this way, or that way. I'm going to say this way, because we've got the tower sticking out there. Um, and we're going to do um, balconies and such on every floor. Let's go this way now. out of materials. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So I'm out of dirt for scaffolding. I mean, I've got more at home. Alright, you want me to kill you? I'll kill you. Uh, okay. extra wing. I'm going to add here. Uh, I saw that guy off in the woods quite some distance. Alright, so... Damn it! Leave me the frick alone. 
So let's say the wing goes this far. And we want it to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Where are you? Where are you? Ooh. Where are you shooting from? Oh, hi. Um, so let's go five or six. One, two, three, four, five. I go six. Does that cut the porch by too much? Nah. Well, no, take that. We'll, uh, we'll do it like this. That wing will go that away. Let's chomp out the trees that are in the way. Okay. That'll do her. Um, these poor mushrooms will despawn. And that'll be... I don't know, a kitchen wing, maybe? Is that big enough? One, two, three. Ah, you know what? Four or five. We're gonna make it this big. Alright. Well, there. You've seen some of my beginning process. A uh, little impromptu mushroom farm is despawning. just do that to protect it for now. Alright, so in this um, somewhat messy building site, we'll leave you till next time. Unless this turns out really short, in which case I'll extend it. But this has been video 6 of the A New Start of the A New Start series. And we have started really making inroads on our Victorian house. So we'll have at least one more here before we go back to the survival. Uh, so this is Skix wishing you a good evening, morning, or whatever it is in your neck of the woods. And I'll see you. See you when I see you. Now for some royalty-free music. Mm -hmm.